Podcast. Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the Sadly Relatable Podcast. We're back, baby. Yay, yay, yay. Ooh, How is everyone? All I know is I'm looking nice and healthy with this tan, and you look like you've been in a dungeon for five years. Yeah, because you don't use SPF, and, and you I do. Got makeup on. No, I don't really yeah, have anyone. <laughs> I literally have blush on and freckles, so. This is how you know I don't tan under my arms though. <laughs> it's like white hair. I just here, wanted to show hair. your arms. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so. Welcome back, guys, to another episode. We appreciate you. We love you. Blah, 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 blah. You went on holiday, so did I. Yeah. You got a spot. Oh, why do you, you got one as well? Like, I right know, there. I know. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> you went on holiday, I did too, but how long did you go for? Seven days. Yeah, I done six days. But I can't tan because, and I was wearing SPF a lot on my face, especially because my face looks like I haven't been on holiday, does it? No, it doesn't. It's because I was wearing SPF every day, topping it up every two hours. And um, my body, because I'm getting laser done, I can't tan my body too much. Wait, wait, wait. So you, you, to keep your skin good, you don't tan? Yeah, kind of. Have you never seen so girls with dark tan? bodies and then face like really light? Yeah, but for me, like, I feel like my skin gets better when I've got a tan because it like dries out all that like, bad stuff. No, like, I'm not going to lie. I did do one day where I applied like a thin layer of SPF mm -hmm. and I was like trying to get a tan. But to be honest, I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow, honestly. <laughs> just making it up. Yeah. If I multiply this by two and put this back once. No. <laughs> so anyway guys i just want to say you lot enjoyed the last episode yeah i thought they'd hate the it yeah watch that everyone was like no this is my favorite episode i was like what so they like the chill one that, so <laughs> today we ain't doing shit now i've noticed every time there's an episode that i'm like no nah, this is terrible and I, I put it out they're always like oh yeah we love this one but do you know what it is I feel like if there's not one big joke or something interesting that happens in the episode, I think it's people boring. just like something to listen to while they're doing things. They don't even know what we're saying half the time. Yeah, because I do that. When I'm doing <laughs> stuff, I like to listen to things. Yeah, it makes sense. Mainly Same. my own cries. Sometimes when I eat now as well, I have to have something to watch. Yeah, yeah, is that, that bad? Ball? Yeah, it's bad. What the heck? What do you do mean you sometimes? You've been doing that for yeah, like two years. I know, but think about it. Back in the day, I was talking about this on live as well. Like, Should we was... tell them that what we've done? No. But it's done now. No, but we should wait until like, it's there. Trust me, it needs to be a surprise. Okay. Guys, we've done something. You know, we've done excited. something and it's really like cool. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to have to wait and see. For this you is trying guys. to spill the beans already, but it's going to be more exciting when we reveal it the way I want to reveal it. Comment down below what you think it is. Yeah. And then also, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, let me go back to what I was saying. Sorry, I just interrupted you. It's okay, I forgive you. Um, <laughs> well, I can't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, so think about back in the day, like now, I'm on my phone 24-7, I have to watch something whilst I'm eating, and not just that, imagine being an adult without social media, because we kind of lived it as kids, like I was a kid it that didn't a, have social we media, We were the it was last cool. generation to not have yeah, social media. but imagine what it was like living life as an adult, like right now, I'm older, a man, and oh, I don't yeah. have social media. Like our nans. Yeah, like my friend was telling me a story about their friend um, back in the day, they used to go, what's it called, they're older, so she used to go clubbing, and then when she'd go clubbing, she got way of telling them that she was the princess of Morocco and they used to like act like she's royalty. But I deeped, there was no way of them it's checking. They can't out. be like, let me just Google who she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they didn't have the internet or phones. I feel like life would be, oh, what about when there <laughs> genuinely was no phones? Yeah. So that's, what would you do? That's what I mean. And one thing I still don't get, yeah, is you know how like they used to send birds with letters on them? I don't know how it works. Yeah. Ravens. How? I don't understand how the bird knows to go, where to go. I'm not just that how no one catches it on the way. Yeah. Or like you said in the fake message, or like you give news, you don't get a reply back because the bird died and you think that maiden doesn't want to marry you anymore. Yeah. So you, you know, move on to someone else and then she gets to the village. Life. Like the notebook. Have you seen notebook? Yeah. Where he's sending her bare letters and her mum's just taking them. Oh yeah. Like, Such a violation. <laughs> Aw. Um, yeah, no, real, how? When I watch Game of Thrones, I'm so confused. But you just—I ju don't know. I would love to be in like Game of Thrones times. No, in this room. You say that for like you want to be there for two minutes, so you can be like, oh, I forgot get a I'm selfie. brown. I forgot I'm brown. Okay. <laughs> but not just that. You wouldn't be able to deal with like the like. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, but then oh, they'd I have be to normal. get up and ride a horse just to go get milk. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I feel like back then everyone's breath smells. Nishrin, that's the one thing I think of. Well, like, I think because it's the norm. Yeah. yeah. But everyone must have just stunk. Like they don't wash themselves dirty. Imagine yeah, going I to your wife to kiss now. her. And you, uh, that's true. You'd get in very well, actually. Um, but think they used to wake up. They didn't have toothpaste and stuff like that. No, I heard that back in the day they used to brush their teeth with honey because they thought honey was cleaning your teeth. Oh, that's and what so it dumb. really done was rot their teeth away because obviously it's sugar. Yeah. So Oh, I think about like intimacy back then makes me feel sick. Uh, Everyone's the smell. just dirty and hairy. 
<laughs> gross. By the way, guys, I do want to apologise because sometimes in the episodes, my hair's sticking out of the back. Why are you apologising to me about you looking buzz? I didn't say buzz. Yeah. But yeah, back then, all that stuff is a bit dirt. And like, I don't know, man. I do genuinely think like social media's kind of messed us all up. It's you got think? a lot of benefits, but also like the fact that I wake up, yeah, and sometimes I'm so tired in the morning, the only thing that wakes me up is like, if I scroll through TikTok for a little bit. So the first thing I do is go on my phone and scroll through TikTok to wake me up, but then I get, I'm on it. Now, you know what it is? It's waking up to a viral video. Oh my God. I wish I knew what that was like. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok's changed its algorithm. Have you clocked? I don't know anymore. Yeah, they changed the algorithm. Views have been so bad. And yeah, they're changing it apparently. Yeah, do you remember we used to talk about social media a lot? And they used to be like, all right, we get it, guys. It's your job, but can you like stop talking about it? Really? I feel like we speak about it just a normal amount. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So how's life? Um, it's all right, to be honest. Just what? getting on. What have you been doing? Oops. Came back from Morocco. Why you got a hairband on your wrist? It's yours. Whenever I get here, will I take one and put it on my wrist? It's really weird. <laughs> I don't know why. I was playing with it earlier on. It's yours, though, will I? Mm. I swear. Stuck for life. <laughs> um, I feel like... How do you feel, what do you feel in terms of the podcast? How do you think things are going? I think things are good. I feel like we're still at like a bare minimum stage. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like we're you doing- You get married. Oh yeah, well, get some views in. <laughs> get married, then divorce. <laughs> yeah, that will help us hit 50K. Oh, that actually would. I get in drama, I go on live like you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's rude, first of all. Second of all, should we do a really clickbait title? <laughs> yeah, but then they'll get pissed off at us. No, but we never do it. We haven't done it in like how many episodes? Like 60 episodes. When have let's we done do it? a really clickbait title. He got married. No, let's do it. <laughs> nah, that's not that's not even clickbait enough. What? Be like... Last um, episode. <laughs> nah. We can't do this anymore. <laughs> I know, People, do you know what I've noticed YouTubers go through that stage at least once in their career where they like upload a video this is the last one or yeah, something like that or oh, goodbye no because imagine it actually happens <laughs> and everyone's, yeah. you know one thing I'm so scared of doing is telling people like if I can't do something whether it's work or I can't meet a friend I'm so scared of being like oh I'm not well or this happened one of my friends oh lying about it just in case it actually happens yeah same one of my friends she didn't go into work and she told them that her dad was in hospital. Wallah, the next week he went into hospital and was in intensive care. See, that's what I mean. You've got to be careful. So I, I'm so scared of doing but that. But you know what it is? It's like pushing your energy out there, like manifesting things. Like we don't realise... Sometimes the skies are open and du'as can be accepted, even if you don't mean it to. Yeah. Like, it's just... Also, like, even in Indian wise, like they say Allah is what you think of him and say of him. Do you know what I mean? So if... You, a lot of the times when you're thinking of certain situations in your life... Sorry, I'm just taking this into, like, a advice. But... I'm saying it out loud to kind of tell myself as well. But when you like expect the worst, yeah, then Allah's going to give it to you in a sense because that's what you expect of him. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just have to be careful with the way you think. And like, obviously there's a law of attraction, but I tend to like, I tend to take certain aspects of that. Because it comes into Islam, yeah, but it's and, not Yeah, uh, and relate it back to din. Like I don't believe the universe. I believe that Allah's giving it to me. If yeah, he wills yeah, and stuff yeah. Like Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But I definitely believe in that energy of like, if you think something's going to happen, it will come to you. Do you know what I mean? If you believe Allah's going to give it to you. Yeah, of course. 100%. And that kind of is a law of attraction if you think about yeah. it. So yeah, he's the way you see him. Yeah. And I see myself rich. No wonder. Millionaire. No wonder you got five grand in your bank. Imagine that's how I thought he was rich. Can you please don't tell them that? <laughs> how much would you, how much money do you think someone has to have to be classed as rich? Oh, I said this in the last Not episode. Rich. Oh, did you? Apparently in the UK, if you have 30 grand savings, your class is rich. Yeah. What like savings, like money you don't touch. Yeah. What would you class as like, I don't know. Like if you met a girl or a guy mm -hmm. and then they just showed you their bank account, how much would you have to see to be like, rah, they're doing well in life? Like at our age. I say our age. <laughs> we're, our like age. Ad we're adults. Yeah, I know. Oh, do you know what happened the other day? What? <laughs> Literally just happened yesterday. I was with some friends and we were somewhere. And I don't know, I can't get into the details of what was happening, but... They said something about a group that was over there and how we should like join them or whatever. And I was like, nah, but they're adults. And then I, I looked around, I was like, wait a minute. I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 26. You're 26. <gasps> We're adults. Are you of your... Nah, I'm that's weird that they're watching you because I wouldn't watch a 30 year old do a podcast. No, I'm not I 30, do. Relax. I do watch 30 year olds. And all the people I watch are older than me on podcasts. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Are you of your 26? <laughs> oh my God. Why does it feel like you're literally 18? I don't know. Allah, me. Allah bless you with more years to come. Do I look 18? I That's think I look mad. my age. Like, it's like I blinked and then just bills and this and this and yeah. this. Yeah, can I give a bit of advice? I feel like we're all over this episode, like no, different so topics. I feel like but I want to give some advice. If you're in your early 20s or you're just pulling up to 20s, 
please, please, please. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, but at the same time, prepare yourself. I feel like me personally, I enjoyed myself a bit too much. Yeah, I do. Like agree. I experienced a lot. I didn't have to experience that much. Do mm. you know what I mean? Like take initiative, start saving, investing, like just prepare yourself because sometimes you'll be too relaxed. Oh, I'll just come out. I'm at uni, I can chill. Even I'm if it's a hundred pounds a week. Yeah, because you'll get to a point where it kind of hits you. You're like, oh crap, now I have all this. It doesn't come slowly. These yeah, responsibilities yeah. will just randomly be on your lap and you're like, oh damn. Yeah. Um, obviously a lot of you are young and you've probably already got a lot of responsibilities, but um, yeah, just uh, some advice from us. Mentally prepare yourself. Start being smart with your money. You don't have to go to every motive. You don't have to be at every event. You don't and, have to buy the nicest stuff. Yeah, and you don't have to always eat out and spend money on food because that's where my money goes a lot, to be honest, I'd say. Like, I feel like I eating. don't really... I say this all the time, but I don't really care about designer stuff and things like that. Yeah. Do you think I do? No, you don't. You have your nice little things, which I think is cool. Yeah, and but, they're similar with me, to be honest. Other than shoes, I don't care. Like, I'll go... To be honest, no, your clothes are expensive. No, but they're not like high end designer. No, but they're still expensive. Yeah. Like that hoodie, one hundred and fifty pounds for a hoodie. Yeah, but that seems like a normal price. Nah, to me. I think a hoodie should be forty pounds, fifty pounds. <laughs> She's like fifty pounds, trying to push up. So just hey, in case we do I merch, I think a hoodie should be like sixty pounds. You're right, right, my right, guys. Sixty pounds is good for a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this, right? Oh, you made me lose. <laughs> you made me lose. I was gonna say, and it was so good. Wait, what were we saying? A hoodie should be fifty pounds, sixty pounds. I forgot. Oh, I felt like you had something really good. It was Because so your eyes really lit up, you are like this. It was so good. It's all right, it'll come back to me. Um, damn, well, I'm trying to think about it, but still have a conversation. Hey, hey how's how, life? Good, thanks, man. Just chilling here on the podcast with my sister. Day. I'm so excited for the merch. You guys are going to... Okay, we've been saying this for ages. Also, we still haven't done our 10K giveaway. Yeah. Um, we didn't do a 20K giveaway. Oh, I'm not going to. We've got a lot to catch up on. Do you know how many people have been asking about the uh, meet and greet? Guys, when I tell you something... Like, and I'm saying this now and inshallah it's all going to work out within these next like three months a lot's going to happen so just prepare yourselves as well because okay? something has happened save your money wow for travel <laughs> <laughs> what the hell yeah, I'm joking um, are you but, trying to pay, make them pay for tickets yeah no I'm joking no that's not it <laughs> um, but no the meeting is going to be free yeah that's what I mean that's why you said Imagine. save your money and I was like no, I was referring to merch. For oh, brands, okay. So yeah. But our merch, one thing about me is like I released eyelashes as well. Yeah. And they were very high quality. Mm -hmm. And all of my friends were saying you should be charging like £25. And yeah. I said no. So their lashes are literally £11, like 99 oh, Because man. one thing about me is I'm not trying to suck people's money out of them. Oh. I want people to enjoy things that I like create. But why? I don't agree. I think we should suck every single dime out of them. Wow. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, uh, no, that's good. I, for me as well, I'd rather like do it at a good price where they are not getting like ripped off but they're also they're getting, getting more than what they expected yeah yeah do you yeah. know what I mean and that way they'll buy something else or they'll, yeah. do something, or they'll be feel part of the family and it's not and it's ac accessible to everyone guys the merch we're doing as well isn't like what you think it is yeah it's not like no let's not tell them all, all I'm gonna say is that some designs have been done like we're in the works okay we're in the works it's I'm coming. excited um, oh, but yeah really next three months just all of you prepare yourselves because it's gonna be interesting inshallah um, oh, I remembered what I was going to say, actually. Uh, this is something else from earlier. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, as females, you were telling everyone to save money, right? Mm -hmm. And I get you're speaking to like the men mainly, right? <laughs> no, uh, females as well. You don't know what situation okay, you're going to be in. Okay, females, listen, you do need to save your money. I agree. But I feel like don't put so much pressure on yourself to have like 20... <laughs> this is saying, look, just chill. You're going to marry someone who's got money. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, look, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying as a female, don't sit there and stress or have anxiety about money. We speak about this a lot, but you don't... It's kind of not no, true as well because you works. could get a divorce or you want to be able to have yourself. Someone asked me a question the other day. I was kind of speaking about work and I was like kind of upset and I was like not upset I was kind of a bit overwhelmed with so much work because mm -hmm. when I came off when I went on holiday 10 minutes before the Uber came to take us to the airport I was filming Walla mm -hmm. like for an, an ad and then um, as I was out there I got a few pieces alhamdulillah mashallah Allah um, and come through mm -hmm. and then my stuff has been a bit overwhelming recently and then my friend was like to me he goes to me like does it not feel like can you get off your phone sorry he was like does it not feel like so good that you've just got it by yourself and like it's more rewarding and i sat there and i thought not really <laughs> don't say that no That's it does you, no, no no let me tell you something mm -hmm. I, I will happily take it if if a man came up to me now and was like stop working i'll give you everything you're earning now 
I will happily do it and feel the same exact way. Mm. Like, because, mainly because my religion tells me that. Do yeah. you get it? So that I just feel like that's men's jobs. Wallah, it's just your jobs. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, I you know, think, technically, because I'm divorced, yeah, but I th- it's your, f- you need to like, look after me now. Right, then, so we should downgrade and live by my means, which is in my car. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. Um, I think um, as well, you shouldn't, as much as that is there, right, and you should do that. But I think prepare yourself because a little, lot of girls are in different situations. Yeah, yeah. Some of, of them maybe just them and their mum, and maybe their mum's unwell and they need to like work, save some money, help their parents. What do you think? As a twenty-five, no, as a twenty-two-year-old, twenty-two, no, twenty to twenty-five-year-old, how much do you think a man should have saved and a woman should have saved? Twenty. Or what should they work towards? What a five-year-old? No, a 20, twenty-five-year-old. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Um, Let's say the number at the same time. So for women, okay, we'll say at the same time, right? How much do you think a 24, 25 year old woman should have saved? Wait, don't say it yet. We're going to say it at the same know, time. No, no, We're talking like they're not successful. They're just like, yeah, how no, much? Just, like, average, just the average yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you think is a good amount to have saved? For a woman. For a woman. Okay. Okay, on three. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Five grand. grand. That's, around the, that's around the same. Yeah. Five to ten grand. Ten's a lot, are you? Yeah, ten is a lot, to be honest. Like some people are gonna watch this and be like, ten's not a lot." But I'm saying, when you have bills to pay, when you've got this and you've got this and you've got this, and it's hard to save, it is a lot. Yeah, yeah. Let's say men now. Okay. Wait. Ah uh, no, I'm gonna say two grand <laughs> less. <laughs> Ready? One, One two, two, three. Twenty, 20 grand. grand. <laughs> <laughs> I always Same say boat. five for the girls, and I'm like twenty. Yeah, I think. But that being said, still very high number. So yeah. if there's men here and they've got like two grand saved, don't think, oh, I'm a failure. But I'm saying that's a very good, if you have that in your bank account, yeah. that is a very good, mashallah, that is well done for being able to save because it's not easy it to save. It is so much harder than you think. So hard. And also for the people that do have it, like, well done, mashallah. Yeah. And for the people that don't have it, Inshallah. may Allah bring you more and allow you to save and, you know, yeah, give I mean, you barakah in your money. I think like, as long as you're trying don't be so hard on yourself because a lot of people are in a situation where they get they can't get past a certain number yeah or something happens and they got to pay bills or something happens to their car and they've got to pay this and they keep they can't make it past and you're gonna f- put yourself in a certain rut where you feel like i'm not moving forward in life but that doesn't mean you're not moving forward in life you're still able to look after yourself you're still able to pay these things and it just takes time like inshallah people compare themselves to others a lot as well yeah i think that is one of the like, main things as well, even me personally, that like, I feel we like I need to like... We spoke about this last time as well, yeah, but yeah. Work comparing on. yourself to other people, whether that's finances, whether that's, you know, success, whether that's their job or whatever mm-hmm. you deem successful. And it's going to ruin your life. Yeah. Looks, it will ruin your life. And you have to remember that what they're given is from God and God has written what he's going to give you. So yeah, we'll still work hard and, and don't be so like don't look at someone else see their results and think why am I not getting the same don't worry maybe they're getting this now and yours and you're is coming get later 10 times better yeah. later and even if it's not 10 times better you might get the same or, or less but it might come at a time where you need it most yeah. do you know what I mean so you need to just just be grateful for what you have recognise the small things recognise the small achievements that you get and this is me talking to myself as well like yeah. I feel like I tend to look at the goal where I want to get and forget about the steps that I've taken like even like this year I've been a bit like not down but I've been like oh man I wish I was doing better like social media wise yeah because I wanted to say certain things I want to do but then I think and some of my friends said it to me it, uh, my friends that I made um, back when I was just starting social media and I had like 3,000 followers on Instagram and they said if you told yourself that person then where you are now you'd be so excited so happy and I think to myself, what the hell? How is this number that I'm looking at and what I've got become so little to me yeah. when before it was so big? Yeah, we spoke about this again in, on the podcast. Yeah. Do you don't remember, but enjoying the process is the most important thing. And I feel like it is the key to happiness. Yeah. Because, and also another thing, I feel like life is, I was speaking to my friend about this, life is switching the things you're depressed or anxious about. (laughs) So last year, it was something else. This year, it's something else. It's never not going to be anything. It's always going to be something. It's true. It's always going to be something you're a bit stressed out about or you're not happy with or you're trying to achieve. So for example, sorry to cut you off. um, Don't cut me off then. As soon as you achieve achieve that one thing, the next thing comes. Yeah. There's a lot of the reasons why people say they're not really happy in wealth because they just want more. Yeah. And that's why I was watching the... um, uh, interview with Russ he was on the 
Mike Tyson. I love Tyson. Russ. He's so, he's so cute. His book as well. You read it. Yeah, I read it again. It? I've got a page I want to read out to you guys, actually. Um, but um, yeah, he was on Mike Tyson's podcast. And they were just talking about how you kind of have to fall in love with the journey and what you're doing. Because you're not going to find happiness in like the money that comes with it. Because there's never an end goal. There's never, there will never be an end goal. You're yeah. always going to be striving for more. But the thing is, when you love what you're doing, then the goal, the end doesn't even matter. Yeah. You just want to keep doing it. You want to keep working. You want to keep creating and doing this because that's what brings you happiness. Yeah. And that's what I kind of like, my mindset and what I want to like fall into is firstly, like what I was saying before with the manifesting thing, like believing things are going to come to you yeah. if they're good for you and they're right for you. And also just enjoying the process. Yeah. Because a lot of people, they talk about, a lot of successful people as well, whether it's creative industry or not, they talk about how the journey to where they got is like the thing they're most proud of. Yeah. And the thing that they enjoyed the most, getting up, working, make sure it's done. When you get there, it's cool having these things, but it doesn't really phase you. Yeah, you got to enjoy the process and celebrate the little... Wins. Achievements, yeah. exactly. And I'll actually, can I read a, um, a page of the book? Because I took Go a picture for specifically for the podcast. Which one was it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. So one of the main points, and this is one something I wanted to talk to you lot Guys, about. Guys, I really recommend reading Russ's book. What is it called again? Um, it is called It's All In Your Head. It's All In Your Head. It is such a good book. I mm. read it in like an hour. Yeah, same. It's, it's like, not like a really long book. It's and like, also like the, the, sorry to cut you off again, but yeah, you need to shut up. No, I'm joking. Um, the page, like the words are really big. It's not, it's like an easy to read book. Do you know what I mean? It's but not it's like. it's very motivating. Yeah. So the main page that I'm going to read out now is about getting to comfortability with yourself. Yeah. And how like a lot of people look for relationships, not f- because of love, but out of like fear of loneliness. Yeah. And like not being comfortable with themselves. And I feel like personally, I'm going through this journey now where like I say I have been, but I need so more now to be alone. Like I've been around too many friends or I've been around and it's distracting me from whatever I'm meant to be dealing with right now inside. Does the thought of never, because I feel like, not going to lie, mm. I feel like a lot of people have this thought. And to be honest with you, recently I've had it as well. Mm. Does the thought of never getting married scare you? Um, not really. I mm. want to get married, but like, I know that whatever Allah has written for me is written for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? As much as I want something. But what if maybe he'd written it for you, but maybe like evil eyes blocking your blessings or you're blocking your yeah. own blessings. I don't know how that works. You just have to take the right precautions to like protect yourself and pray. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think another advice for the younger viewers as well, maybe even older ones, maybe they haven't been through it. You have to get to a point where you, you understand yourself and you're comfortable because a lot of you are running away from dealing with your own thoughts and who you are as a person do you know what I mean yeah. they spend too much time at work then they're with their friends then they sleep work friends and sleep. they don't get them own, their yeah. own alone time to see themselves truly for what they yeah, are yeah to sit back think about the things you've done wrong in life like oh how can I improve why am I like this what is it like when I'm literally just on my own for 24 hours of the day yeah and obviously some of you probably are but I'm just saying a lot of people haven't experienced that and you kind of get to to learn who you are you're more I don't know, more equipped to handle certain situations because you've sat and spoke to yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think I tend to do that a lot, but recently I'm just trying to like take it I, in. I really enjoy my alone time. Like yeah. really too much. Yeah, but I think the strongest people are the people that can be alone. Yeah. I don't know. I think it works like in two different ways. It's mm. either you're, you're strong because you can be alone or you, you're being alone too much and it's yeah. unhealthy now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There is like a line you shouldn't cross. Yeah, I think even Islamically it mm. says not good to be alone too much yeah they say, it says take your time yeah, like, yeah, yeah have your time alone but you shouldn't always be alone you need to have people around you i've um, been enjoying my alone time a bit too much recently not that i have a choice <laughs> shut up man no one cares i'm joking um yeah i'm gonna read this so do you mean to read it no um so where it's starting is referring to lose yourself in your work or your craft so when he says lose yourself he doesn't mean in a bad way he means in a good ways and like fall in love with what you're doing so the books the page out of this in order to lose yourself, let alone find yourself, you will need uninterrupted time by yourself. You must work in the dark for your light to shine. Be alone. Being alone is imperative. It's when you're going to self-explore. If you're constantly seeking company, then you need to take a step back and reassess. You're scared to face yourself. Embrace the fear. Take it on as a challenge. <clears throat> take it day by day. This is a race, yes, but not against anyone or anything else except your own doubt. 
And then the next bit says, a lot of people get alone and think I'm lonely. So many people define and limit their lives to wanting a relationship above all else. So instead of choosing a person out of love, they choose a relationship out of fear of being alone. They are trying to fall in love with someone else before they fall in love with themselves. This will never work. I love Russ. Yeah, he's sick, isn't it? He just like his interviews and just everything about him. I just think he's top tier. Yeah, definitely. Too bad you had to unfollow him. Anyway, so <laughs> guys, you you see my like phobia start kicking in when I start reading. Yeah, what what is that? I don't know. I was dumb when I was younger. So. I didn't notice, by the way. You oh. weren't dumb, Ayub. When I was younger, I just struggled. I don't know why. Now Do I know. Do you remember I'm when we would we were like oh, five we years old? I Nishin think we spoke be, about this. Nishan actually used to bully me. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did, Don't man. say that. Because Nishan, you had to read before me. So we'd be, <laughs> there's supposed to be thing. Mum would be getting like a book for me to read. It would be like one of those kid ones. And I'd be there struggling on the word. Like, uh, and she'd come along. She'd be like, it says rat, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I remember her reading. I'd come up behind mum and read the word for you. Yeah, you snake. Um, well, I think one thing I'm, I'm kind of good at, well, I was really good at, is like just English, like literature and stuff like yeah. that. So if you were to give me a word, I could probably spell it. And it's like the way my brain works, but I'm, I, I can't read. Like, no, I can read, sorry. I want to be that person that reads books. Yeah. My like brain I doesn't let me do it, man, because <clears throat> some people, we spoke about this before, obviously we're just gonna speak about it again. Some people read books and their brain imagines it. I read books and wallah, all I see is words words i don't imagine That's so a scenario. Boring. i know i, I was sh- speaking to someone about this as well like for me when i read something i'm imagining the whole scene it's like a movie in my I head i can't do it that i want to so i dead. really would love to even when i was watching like stories of the prophets and stuff mm-hmm. i watched the cartoon version because yeah. i need visual like i'm a visual person i can't just listen to a podcast i have to watch it yeah that makes sense i don't know my brain's a bit special i think no nah, a lot of people like that um and referring back to that book um, yeah, I just think it was such a good thing. I think if you're someone who's Muslim, you're going to read the book. Just remember, like a lot of the things he's saying might not make sense because he's referring to the universe or like music and all this stuff. But if you apply certain, if you apply like the music, his no. music to maybe your goals, and then when he speaks about the universe, think of Allah. Yeah, then that would be the best way to kind of That's view it. That's what I done. Yeah, and um, it was really interesting. Um, yeah. I love it, and I love to read. I can't lie. I'm just not a confident reader out loud. Yeah, so I feel humble. like. Let's let's go on for the rest of the year because there's not long left. But for the rest of the year, everyone listening to this, this is your sign and Ayub as well, me and you. Let's focus on bettering ourselves. And I know we always say this, but let's actively go on a journey as a sadly relatable family mm-hmm. and as siblings um, to genuinely better ourselves so that we come into the next year the best versions of ourselves to the point where people meet us and they say, wow, like... It's so nice to be around them. They yeah. just radiate so much like positiveness and nod and yeah. let's just try and work on that. And like I think we should all kind of set a goal of one thing that you want to improve on and like yeah. see how far you've come. Yeah. I know what I want to improve on. And I think it might be the same as yours because we spoke about it. Um family time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I get so caught up in like work. Damn. Yeah, I know my turn. I don't know if you can look, can see the line. No, it's quite far away. I get so caught up in like what I'm trying to do and being busy oh you got it as well that's how you got a turn that I kind of forget to spend time with the people that actually matter like it's so weird what like, like my mum my brothers my siblings all of them like these are the people that matter the most to me like, I don't care about anyone else other than like do you know what I mean like oh wow. no, obviously I care about other people I'm saying I'd put these people first before everyone yeah but I give them the least time yeah like what is that I know you know it's so bad I didn't see like I haven't been to Cambridge in like three months yeah like I didn't go home for so long yeah and yeah, it's so bad. And not just that, like um, you we tend to, and it happens in a lot of cultures, a lot of the time dads will be like better to people outside the house than when they're at home. Yeah. Like they'll take all their stress out on their family. But there's such good people to and everyone then, else. And to everyone else, they're so good. Oh, come here. Oh, do, 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 do. But you forget that even in our religion, it says you should be good to your family first, first. before yeah. going out. Do you know what I mean? So like, I think it's a, it's a sense of um, we feel comfortable. These people love us no matter what. So I get to take out all my energy on yeah, them and do yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, and then yeah. go out and be nice to other people. I know, sometimes I feel bad because mum will ring me and I'll just kind of be like in the mode where I don't want to speak. But then like, I don't know. And then a friend will call and you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, what's up? It's yeah. weird. Because you, you feel more rude to tell the friend who doesn't know you that well. to You don't want to offend them. But then again, what? That's like our mum. 
Do you know what I mean? I know, it's so bad. Guys, let's actively all try to spend more... Oh, my hair's doing it again. To spend more time with our loved ones and just do more things. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel, feel like we should definitely do more, like, family meals. Yeah. Not just that. We used to do family holidays every year, but we haven't done that in so long because of COVID yeah, that we haven't like had that one time a year. Three years, yeah. yeah. That we, like, all go together and we're forced to kind of get... Do you know what I mean? Like, spend quality time together, which is the best thing. Yeah. I miss that, can't I? <laughs> I have something to say to you as well. Go on, shoot. Your breath stank. Thanks. Um, do you know what's really weird? I don't know if you get this as as a girl towards guys. I hate them. But I know. But as a man, and I'm giving like re- this hasn't happened recently, but it's just something that I thought of. A lot of the time when we see like a pretty girl on like social media, or in like you see them somewhere, they work at a store or something, you tend to like put them on this pedestal. If that makes sense, like I've seen girls on like Instagram or somewhere and I thought oh my god she's so beautiful and they seem like such a cool person it's them yeah. and then like once you get to know them it's weird how like you had viewed them so highly and then you get to know them you're like oh they're just like a I tell you what average. girls do I don't That's know if weird. men do this but yeah. if they see a guy that they find attractive they will sit and start planning their life with them and I don't mean that in a weird way but let's say I saw a guy and I found him attractive and I was like oh because I don't really find men attractive I always speak about this but very rare literally three times a year mm-hmm. I will see a man that I think is good looking a of all I'm not lying yeah, you got and issues. I'll be like oh do you know what yeah he's handsome but then you sit and you think oh but Oh, his hair's a bit straight and I want my kids to have curly hair and then you say things like oh but does he do this and to, like you literally as women I don't know I know my friends don't know about everyone I can't speak for everyone but you sit and you start planning your life because for me personally I won't speak to someone like I won't even get past that stage of speaking if number one you don't feel you don't tick all my boxes yeah. and number two if there's any red flags at all yeah. like if I found out a man doesn't pray just don't chat to me yeah. so that's why I feel like as women we want to get everything out the way so we know whether to speak to you or just like air you yeah. do you know what I mean is it weird that like I kind of want to say that do I do men it do that? I, I don't I can't say men do it because I feel like I'm different sometimes not even yeah, like I'm not even trying to say that in like a good way like I'm different I think my way my brain works is a bit different maybe because you want to get married yeah but um, were you like that right like now, five years ago no I've always kind of been like that when I see a girl I tend to like imagine every scenario yeah. but then I don't know them enough to even know what they're going to be in a scenario yeah. I just take what they look like and who they are and put them in the scenario <laughs> I, I don't even scenario. know what the name is what they do for a living <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah one thing speaking on that subject <laughs> one thing I feel like we do and I don't know about you lot and you I feel like when you lose someone or when someone leaves your lives and you know you're there you're sad whether it's heartbreak whether it's a parent whether it's a family member it's more the potential because I could you could sit here and actively be like no like realistically your friends would be like what what were they offering you were they doing this were they doing that and then you kind of sit and you're like, wait, yeah, like, I'm, this is easy to find elsewhere. Mm. But then in your brain, it's like the potential, like what I, what I thought you were going to be, what I thought we were going to be yeah. is what is breaking my heart. That's so weird you say that. I think that's a girl thing. Multiple girls have told me this. Yeah. Not about me, but about situations they've been in where they've asked me for advice. And I ask them, like, why are you so sad? And they tell me it hurts them more. Like for example, sometimes they said they've they've been in short term things that hurt them more than long term things. Yeah. Because you had an they had, idea. They had an idea and they thought the potential of what it could have been. Yeah. And what they built in their mind, yeah. it hurt them more that that didn't work out. But in reality, that man really weren't doing yeah. shit or doing anything but special. Do for a lot them. of females think like that because I've had a few say yeah. that. Yeah. Like the potential is what hurts Definitely, them the most. Definitely, hundred percent. That's why women have these men that do. F- F all for them, Ayub, mm-hmm. and they bring nothing to the table. Yeah. But they'll be so sad because they're like, no, because I know that this is what he's gonna be like. Yeah. And it's like sometimes Allah removes a situation from you because it's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. It's not a happening. And but yeah, I feel like for anyone that is going through a heartbreak or anything, or whether it's a parent, like I said, friend, anything, just kind of take yourself out of you know, step outside of the box and look at it as if your friend was telling you about that situation and sit and say, what would you advise your friend? And I know it's so hard, but you have to live. It's well, like so difficult, but you have to do it. <clears throat> Every day, put your emotions aside and think logically. What were they bringing to you? Mm. Were they doing this for you? Were they even doing this? Was this even good? Do you really want to do that? Do you really want those sort of people around you? Will they really benefit you? Do you want to spend your life with that person realistically? Mm. And I feel like it will help a lot of people get over heartbreak. And it's hard for me to speak about 
things like this because whenever I make TikToks, whenever I do anything, people just assume that I'm speaking about, you know, my ex. But I am. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm genuinely not. I'm just... I, maybe in the back of my head subconsciously I am there might be some mm, things yeah that a little way. bit but it's not like 100% mm. that's why I'm just like waiting for the time I can speak about relationships and things where people aren't going to assume that I'm yeah. talking about someone well that's never going to happen anyway um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think it's crazy like but going back to my point that I was saying as well about putting people on a pedestal like like I've for example this is years ago I saw there was a girl that I was interested in or whatever and I to me they were like up there, like, do you know what I mean? Like, not, I don't have to say it, not in like, oh my God, but like, you know, prestigious that you just, you see them for more than what they are. Yeah. And then like, I got to know the person and I was like, mm. yeah. and then all of a sudden now, like, I'm just like, it's, and I've been in a situation like that a lot where now things don't phase me. Yeah. Sometimes come, someone come up to me, my friend. This is like, why you don't give men chances, guys, because that's what happens. <laughs> no, because my friends will come up to me and show me a girl and they'll, and they'll be all excited. And I'm like, nah. like, I, I don't know if it's like messed me up, that I just don't see someone and put them at anything. I just yeah, go, oh, yeah. they're just normal. It's just normal. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I, I, I understand what you're saying. What do you... I feel like we speak about relationships all the time, so... Do you know what's weird? That's kind of life. Because that is essentially what we're preparing for. And not just that, that's what life is. I know there's more to it. I know relationships is nothing, but every, every day... I'll have someone speak to me about something they're going through in a relationship. Yeah, because you're looking for I companionship. Can't, yeah, I can't As get away humans, from it. As humans, our end goal is to meet someone to share our life with and, you know, d- yeah. die with. Yeah. So I think our lives do revolve around that. And me, recently, I've been like, bro, am I actually... I can't do another marriage. But the scary thing about <laughs> me doing another marriage is it has to work this time. Yeah. Like there's no, we can't get a divorce. That's I'm sorry. So deep. And do and you know what's crazy but as well? what if he's, oh my God. No, no. don't even think about it. I feel like you had a breakdown now <laughs> about a future husband that you haven't even met yet. We're going to divorce. I don't want to do this. <laughs> for me, as much as I'm like, not in a stage where I'm like, I'm going to give it some time before I get married. There's also like this ticking time bomb in the back of my head. I'm like, hey, you're 26, you're nah, 27 next year. I think men have, old dad. well, I think you lot have up until I'd say 29 to get married. Yeah. Well, obviously later. <laughs> But obviously later, but 29 is when you should think about that ticking time bomb. Right now, relax, live your life, make your money, you know, spend time with family. But if you get 29 and you're like, okay, there's no progress, then you should maybe start taking... 29 is so old. I'm sorry if you're 29. It's not old. It's not. But to me, in my head, it is. Imagine being like... That's like three years away from you. I know. (laughs) You're closer to 30 than you are to 20. Do you know what it is? I could get married. I'm so I'm scared I'm gonna be that guy that's so picky that he ends up with nothing. Yeah, but hey, that's why you need to just firm it. Yeah. You should pick a random one. <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making like I've actually got that ability. Who the hell do I think I am? I just know. pick a random just one. Just go through your DMs <laughs> and just. Nah, it doesn't scroll. even work like that. Um, <laughs> have you ever thought of dating sites? I heard. No, that I'm not that desperate a- to get. I'm, I'm not that desperate to get married. Like I, I'm. What do you mean desperate? So people on dating sites are desperate. Muzmatch, no. if you want to sponsor I'm saying, us. it means... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone DM Muzmatch. Muzmatch has already DM me. DM them and tell them to sponsor Ms. the podcast. Muzmatch has actually already DM me. Yeah. Hit them up. So I hit them up? Yeah. They wanted me to do a video for TikTok. Yeah. But um, nah, I didn't mean desperate, sorry. I mean, I don't think you're desperate if you're going on there. I mean, you're, you're just ready for married. You're I'm not, not desperate to get married just yet. Yeah. Did you know, I found out something the other day, because basically, I haven't actually spoke about this, but I don't know if you guys, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know, but I done a live stream with Chris Appleton. Mm-hmm. Chris Appleton is literally Kim Kardashian's hairstylist. Yeah. Like, I, That's so, on the weekend. What the hell is your life, man? Say hello Last year, you were in your little room. Depressed. Can you say Allah Mubarak? And now you're in a bigger room depressed, but you're getting someone on live, doing you? <laughs> say Allah Mubarak. <laughs> say, may Allah bless you may more. May Allah bless you more. I mean, everyone say, I mean, I mean. And so, if, do you know what was crazy to me? On the weekend, he was doing Kim Kardashian's hair and he was at Courtney Kardashian's wedding. Mm-hmm. And then on a Tuesday, he was live with me. And then yesterday... So he experienced what it was like to be around money and no money. Yeah. So he was like, wow. And he came here and was like, yeah. Okay. And and then yesterday he was on Kim Kardashian's story to do her hair. So I'd love to like speak about things like in detail, maybe like in the future one day. Mm. But like just to speak about things briefly now. Um yeah, I done a live with them. That must have been amazing, Yasmin. I done a live with them and it was really cool. And um it was just such a great experience. Like I was with Colorwell and then I was with um 
Chris and like I don't know it was just a crazy experience for me and I also done Charlotte Tilbury and it was really fun like maybe like six months ago that's mad why are you getting pictures because of the TikTok live stuff yeah I've just I don't know anyway so what I was gonna say is I met TV presenters what is that I've had that for years why do you always randomly point out stuff that's on my body and why what do you have, you do? What why do you have you... cuts on your don't worry what would you do Ayo! what would you do if every episode I'm like Oh, what is that? Oh, what's this? Why you got that there? Sorry, sorry, Carry my Carry on, brain. Chris Appleton. But you have this on your thumb. What? Oh. So, where I was getting to, guys, is I met TikTok um, presenters, mm -hmm. um, Saskia and Sakara. They're so cute. Like, they work on TikTok lives and stuff. Oh. And one of them was telling me that there is a dating site for celebrities and yeah. the way it works is you have to did be you? referred by two celebrities to be able to be on the app. Did you not know that? No. Logan Paul, I've watched it. They talk about it all the time. He got banned from it because the guy who owns it didn't like him. But there's like, a, it's all just celebrity high class people. That's mad. That's true. Imagine you're going through, like, you know how Tinder swipes, but it's like, <laughs> Zendaya, the guy. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just go through all the celebrities. <laughs> That's, That's so mad, but it's funny to me. Because, like, why do they just not want to be with someone broke? Yeah, that is a bit deep. Do you know but what I mean? You can't trust. Like, how do you know what they want? Yeah, yeah. M. Honcho Sog, a hero. Which one? <laughs> Where he goes, I used to be broke like you. Oh, yeah, that's such a violation. <laughs> we uh, listened to M. Honcho's song recently, and his lyrics were literally like, I used to be broke just like you. Yeah. Me and Abe looked at each other and we were like, He's violating us. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, Everyone that's listened to this, you're broke. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Do you I, think celebrities would ever date fans? Nah, I don't think they would. And I find it funny that celebrities kind of go around and pass each other. It's like, you know, the popular kids in school, yeah. they always date each other. Like, they like one here, yeah. and then a few months later, the other two are like, that's what celebrities are. They're like the cool kids of the world. Yeah. And they just date each other. <laughs> that's so true. But it's weird that they date each other. Would but last month, they were like in the same party when the other person was with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Would you want it, mm. like, for me personally, I don't want to be with someone that's on social media. Mm -hmm. Do you think you do? Um, I don't mind if they have like a small presence, like me. Yeah. But yeah, I actually, I wouldn't want someone that's like, I want someone smaller than me, I'll be honest. Yeah, you and mean I'm like small. no, like, do you mean no social media or just like small, like they just post for fun? Um, yeah, like that's not their job. Like, yeah. I don't mind if they have social media presence, but yeah. it's not their what job. they're doing. Yeah, yeah. So, me, I personally just wouldn't want anyone on social media. Yeah, I, I think you need that. There's something about a man that doesn't, sorry, because oh I God, know you have social media. You're such a you're hypocrite. She come out of one marriage and now she wants the opposite. No, I've always said this, but there's something about a man with no social media that just like just stays low key but looks scary. That is just every I think every woman wants. I think it's nice with same as a man. Like it's nice. I would want yeah. a low key girl that doesn't do anything on social media. That's also really nice as well. Yeah, yeah. I think men do want that, but that's more of like the jealousy and like thing, like the ghera, like yeah. Islamically how you're supposed to have over your women. Yeah. But yeah, so. Crazy. You can tell me about your hand. You don't want to know, G. Did you hit a wall? No, what the hell? Why? Okay, yeah, I did hit a wall, but it wasn't me punching the wall. I was swimming and scraped against the side, but I wanted to like give the cool look of like, don't worry. That's what happens when you, <laughs> <laughs> when you say got, something. <laughs> he's got cuts on his hand. <laughs> on my knuckle. Oi, listen to this, yeah? When I open my mouth, it clicks. Your jaw. I can see it moving. Yeah, you got a problem. Put your hand there. You got what um, thing he has? No, hey, that's scary. What's it called? TMJ. Are you sure? Nishan, your jaw's going like this. <laughs> it's locking out. That's weird, Nishan. Yeah, that's messed up. It's not like going up at yeah, the mic. Yeah, Yours is going. Should <laughs> <laughs> I go get it checked out? Yeah, I think you should. It might be the headphones. Try it's it. It's not you. Otherwise, why would I say it? I don't know. Yeah, no, that's messed up. Something's wrong with your jaw. That's weird. Something's wrong with your jaw. But I don't Let really ever it. open my... <laughs> I don't really ever need to like... Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, so guys, we are going to do the car segment. And we have someone that DM'd us. And she's really pretty. She gave her friend's number though. Should we call them? Do you, can you do freeway calls? Uh, not in a call ID. Oh, damn it. Um, yeah, they both like DM'd and gave their each their friend's numbers. So Maria and Romesa... Let's just say hello, you know? Sorry, but the person you've called isn't available at the moment. Well, that's Call it one rude. more time. Call it one more time because it might be... Um, oh, do not, not disturb. disturb. And we're disturbing. Sorry, but 
Sorry. Ah. Okay, let's try Maria. You missed out. You missed out. Let's try Maria, Maria. Maria, Maria. Ready? She remind me of a West Side Story. Growing up in... Do you, not have to, you, have to put, you still have to put zero, by the way. She's living, she living a life just, just like a movie star. Oh, Maria, Maria. Don't show the number. Hello. Hi, Maria. You are right? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you doing? Um, I'm just shopping at the moment. Oh, do you want to meet up? Wait, who, who is it? Wait, you don't have my number saved? No. Oh. It's, it's not a cool ID. Oh my gosh, my cousin used my phone earlier. I'm so sorry. Wait, who do you think it is? I think it's Halima, right? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> What? Yeah, I was thinking, who else could it be? What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just in Tesco right now. Do you want to meet up? Um, yeah, where are you? I'm like, what Tesco are you at? Um, the one in Hamilton. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like 20 minutes from there. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, we can, we can meet up. I'm just with my mum at the moment. Wait, wait, someone wants to speak to you. Okay. Can you tell your mum I said hi? Yeah, of course. I feel like she knows. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Do you know who this is? No. I feel like We're knows. calling from the Sadly Relatable podcast. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like she knows. I thought you knew. Did you know? <laughs> no, I had no idea. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe I just sound like Habiba, but that was really good. <laughs> Oh my, I literally didn't even recognise you guys. Oh yeah. my we rang Rumesa because um, yeah. you sent her number and we rang her and her yeah. phone went to voicemail but then we checked and she sent your number. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. We sent each other's number. Oh, oh I'm so, so sad because she didn't answer. Yeah, I know. She's such a, she's such a big fan of you guys. Like, she literally, she's, she watches all of your podcasts like every time you guys oh. see it. So, oh, yeah. thank you. That's so cute. I feel like maybe we'll that's try so give her another call. Yeah, maybe yeah, if you try again. yeah maybe if you dm her not dm maybe if you message her and say hey i'm trying to call you and then we'll call oh, okay yeah yeah that's fine i'll, I'll let her know oh but thank you so much for the message it was really sweet oh no worries oh, i'm so glad you guys called like I how really are you um, um, i'm good alhamdulillah how are you guys alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. we're good thank you for watching mother we really appreciate it no problem. Uh, we appreciate you making the podcast as well. Like, we can relate to it a lot. Like, a lot of the stories and stuff is really interesting as well. Aww, well, Thank that's you. the whole point. But, Maria? What? Yeah? Are you busy in Tesco? Um, I'm not too busy at the moment. It's just, just getting, like, a few things here and there. Because we're going to have a barbecue tomorrow. So, wow, yeah. and I didn't get an invite. Yeah, you guys can come along. Do you want to come to Leicester? <laughs> Should we actually pull up? That'd be <laughs> Imagine so we funny. just pull up to Leicester. <laughs> Inshallah, the next one. But um, yeah. what we're going to do is we'll try ring Romesa again. So if you send her a message and just say, like, I'm yeah. trying to call you, can you answer? Then hopefully she answers. Yeah, of course. I'll let her know. Thank you so much for your message. And it was so nice speaking to you. I'm going to keep you in my du'as. Oh, Jazakallah. I'll keep you in mind too. Salam Thank you. Salam alaykum. Alaykum. We appreciate Salam. you. Bye. Thank you too. Bye. Bye. Oh, she was cute. That was very cute. Thank you, by the way, as well. The message she sent Thank was really you, nice. Thank you, Maria and Romesa. That was very sweet of you. All right, let's try call Romesa. Okay, go. Even though she has, probably hasn't messaged her yet. Oh, yeah. No, just, you might as well just try. It's a to- it was a note. It was the last one. No, it's this one. Trust me. It was the last one because you just rang you her. Sorry, but the person you called... Romesa, I know you're watching this. You'd be stressed. Well, we're not that special. No, but come on. If someone puts their number there, they always want to speak to you. Okay, let's do it in five minutes then. Nah, gee, she's less... Do you know what, Let's do the shout <laughs> okay, of the we week. We appreciate you. Thank you as well. Um, was it Miriam? Maria. Maria, we appreciate you, girl. Maria, Maria. Oi, vocals. Been she reminds me of a rest of that story. By the way, guys, if you made it this far, I know you're like, mm, nah, I'm not going to write a comment. Please write a comment and like the video because it helps us a lot. And yeah, we'd appreciate it a lot. Guys, if you like this video, 
I will turn up to your house with a high five. Can we do like a giveaway where we like go eat dinner at one of their houses? <laughs> I just want food. <laughs> so the shout out of the week goes to Fasija Fasija Adams. A uh, very beautiful lady. I'm looking at her picture right now. Allah Barak. She said, Salam Ayyub and Nisrin. It's so crazy how I have exams looming, but still make time for you guys. And I agree with Nisrin. Men are the reason I'm scared to leave my house alone or do anything alone. True. Um, also, I love you guys so much. And Ayyub, you shouldn't stress about getting married. Inshallah, your time will come. Inshallah. And Nisrin, I hope Allah gives you the extra push to wear it because I'm struggling myself to put it on. Love you lot too much. Oh, love thank you, you so, so much. much. Wallah, may Allah bless you and Amen. give you everything you need. And, and make it easy for you as well. Make it easy for you. Give you success and happiness. And, and your family. Jannah, and the same for you and your family and every Amen. single person watching this. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. Thank you so much, Queen. That was such a beautiful message. We love you. Thank you. Also, like, I just want to say, guys, we know we talk about marriage. I'm not stressed about getting married. Queen. Okay? Just want everyone to know. Not directly but, that, like, thank you for the message. But, but I'm saying we, in general, I'm not here like, oh, I need to get married. I don't even want to get married right no, now. No, it's I'm because, chill. you know, when I said to you, oh, like, do you, you should get married and you're like, you think I'm trying to be like you. Oh, anyway, oh yeah. yeah, true. Thank that you. was a very beautiful message. We appreciate you. We love you. And the way she said love you guys too much was cute. Because oh. usually it's like, I love you or I love you so much, but it was too much. Oh, that was actually really cute. Thank we you. love you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Why yeah. do you guys like us, man? Hi, I'm you, crazy. They need lives. Why are they here? I'm joking. We appreciate you guys so Ring, much. Ring um, Romesa. Right, Let's we'll try, try one, one more. more time. If it doesn't work, then I'm sorry, Romesa. But you're blocking your own blessings. I'm joking. Wow. Sorry, but the person you've called isn't available at the Let's leave her voicemail. No, oh, no, okay, no, it's fine. Call her. Um, all right, guys. I just want to say to you guys, first and foremost, Spotify listeners. Love, love you guys. Um, and <laughs> I want to say thank you for everything, guys. And we love you. We appreciate you. And we've got some exciting stuff coming. Here's another heart. Inshallah, Ooh. please make dua for us, guys. We need it. And we'll make dua for you. I make dua for you guys every single day of my life. Yeah. Just like you're my family because you are my family. Yeah, you actually are. And if are. you see this, please, if you made it this far, please comment because we need it. Also, if you see us in public, actually say something to us, come on to us because I've had it a few times now where they're like, I'm, I wasn't going to come to you, but I did because I remember you saying to come up to us. Yeah, I get so that. So I'm like, good. If you ever see us, speak to us. Yeah, punch me in my face. I need it. Um, anyway, Nishan, where can they find you? You can find me crying on my pillow. You can find me at It's Nishan on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me at Caleb Kasha on all social media platforms. Don't forget to follow Sally Label Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Guys, we love you lot so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and share this with a friend. You can also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time that we post. You guys are all amazing. We love you so much. You're we my love heart. You guys. You're everything. And yeah, we love you. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I right, see you on the other side. Where are Peace. Bye.